Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on recursive function. In this tutorial, we will learn what is a recursive function with the help of some examples. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of shell scripting in Bash. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system and GNU Bash version 4.2. Please note, GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended for practice. Let us see what a recursive function is. A recursive function is one which calls itself. Recursion is a useful technique for simplifying complex algorithms. Let me open a file named factorial.sh. I have typed the code in this file. This is the shebang line. Factorial is the function name. Inside this, we print a message inside factorial function. This statement reads user's input and stores the value in variable n. Here we have if else condition. If condition checks whether the value of n is equal to 0. If true, it will display the message factorial value of n is 1. Here is the else part of the if statement. It calls the factorial function. And fi is the end of the if else statement. Let us run the file factorial.sh. Open the terminal using Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Type chmore space plus x space factorial dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash factorial dot sh. Press enter. We see enter the number. I will enter 0. The output is displayed as factorial value of 0 is 1. Now press the up arrow key. Recall the previous command. Press enter. This time I will enter 5. Now the output is displayed as inside factorial function. Let us add some more logic to the factorial function. We will calculate the factorial of a number. Come back to our code. Now let us replace the echo statement inside the factorial function with the code block. Click on save. Temp is a variable and stores the value entered by user. If condition checks whether the variable value is equal to 1. If true, it will print 1. This is the else part of the if statement. This reduces 1 from the temp variable value and stores the result in a variable f. Variable f stores the output of factorial function. This is a recursive call. Value of variable f and temp is multiplied and stored in f. Then we print the value of f. End of if else statement and function. Now come back to our slides. Let us understand the flow of the program. The value of n is taken from the user that is n. If the value entered is equal to 0, then it prints a message. Else it goes to the function factorial. Here if the value is equal to 1, then it prints value as 1. If not, it makes a recursive call until the value is equal to 1. Then all the values are multiplied and displayed. Now come back to our terminal. Press the up arrow key. Recall the previous command factorial.sh. Press enter. 
Now I will enter 5 as the input value. We get the factorial of number 5, that is 120. We can see the flow of the program on terminal, analyze and trace the flow of the program. Come back to our slide. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we learned recursive function with the help of some examples. As an assignment, write a program where the recursive function calculates the sum of n numbers. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial teams. This is Ashwini Patil signing off. Thank you for joining.